are you a do-it-yourselfer? Do you like the challenge of taking on a project, saving money, doing it yourself? I gotta tell you, I'm right there with you. I will paint, um, gosh, we're building our house now. We know that that personality type, let's just put it that way. Um, but when it comes to selling your house, do you really want to FISBO it? Do you really wanna do the for sale by owner route? And let me tell you some things that you're gonna to have to consider before you decide to take that on. And you know, for some people, they they absolutely can take it on. Me, I would do it. Um, the last two times I've sold my house though, I was an agent and I used an agent, not myself, to represent me in my best interest because that was the best way to handle the situation that we were in for both of those properties. So there you go. Um, but there are a couple of things to keep in mind. The most important, in my opinion, is the negotiation of it all. It's not so much the pricing when you're thinking about for sale by owner, because you know that if you're gonna sell it yourself, you're gonna have to give that buyer coming in a discount, right? If you don't know that, you should. You're not gonna be paying, you're not gonna be netting as much because the buyer that's coming to you is gonna expect a discount because you're not paying those fees. Um, but you also have to consider how you're gonna handle multiple offer situations, uh, how you're gonna handle actually getting the buyer to put it in writing. I don't know how many times I've talked to people that are in the process of attempting to sell their home and they're like, well, yeah, so-and-so said he was gonna make me an offer it never transpires. It doesn't actually come. So how do you as the seller get that buyer to actually get an offer in writing? That's a challenge. Um, what do you do about the buyer that comes in with their own representation with their own agent? You can't have that agent represent you because that's a conflict of interest. Interest. So they're not looking after your best interests. Um, so who is representing you as you move through this legal transaction? Uh, if you would represent yourself in court, then you might be the personality type that would do okay as a for sale by owner. If you're the type of person that really would like the benefit of having a lawyer represent you in court, then you're also the type of person that sees the benefit of using a real estate agent when you're doing this legal transaction. So anyways, if you have any questions at all, please reach out to me and let me know what your questions are, whether it's you're thinking about for sale by owner yourself, or if you would like to buy a house that's for sale by owner. I have done both sides of that transaction off market, representing a seller and representing a buyer. I know it well and comfortable with it, but also if you just have questions about how a real estate agent could benefit you and actually make you more money, even though you're paying those fees, let me know. I would love to sit down and talk with you more about it. Thanks, bye-bye.